Good morning! Good morning everyone! How are you doing? I hope you're doing great! It's English time! And before starting the lesson, I want someone to read the day and date. So who can help me today to read the day and date? So the day is Thursday and the date is April 16, 2020. Wow, so it's weekend time. So tomorrow and after tomorrow, no studying so you can take a break and enjoy your time. So everyone, let's go to the title of the lesson and I want you to read the title. I'm going to give you some time. Let's read the title together. Writing a personal narrative. So the title seems familiar. You know why? Because today we will continue the lesson we have started before about personal narrative. Everyone, in the previous writing lesson, we brainstormed ideas and wrote them down. And today, we are going to plan and organize our ideas. So everyone, first of all, I want you to use your background knowledge to review the things that you have already known about writing a personal narrative. We use this type of writing to write a story that tells something about you. In the previous writing lesson, I asked you to brainstorm ideas for personal narrative and choose your topic. Today we will write and record the topic that you already chose. So everyone going back to the topics you chose. So everyone before talking about how to organize and plan your topic, I have a special song for you and I want you to listen carefully. So listen carefully. This song will be about writing a personal narrative. So, let's sing along together. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. So everyone, let's say it one more time. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. So as, as I said to you, it's a special story. And it's, uh, or let me say, it tells something about you. It's your personal narrative. And it's your own history. So let me say something else. I write to express my feelings. I use first, next, then and last. And my story will have a beginning, a middle and an end. So have you enjoyed it? Let's say it one more time, but faster this time. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. So, all of us, we get to know that writing a personal narrative means to write a story about you. So, thank you everyone for following. Okay, so everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the key features of narrative writing and also write a narrative with a clear sequence of events and relevant details. So everyone, here is a video about writing a personal narrative. I want you to listen carefully. So let's watch the video together. Writing a Personal Narrative Episode 2 Planning and Pre-Writing A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You write about something that has happened to you. So everyone remember, 
A personal narrative is a true story about your life. And remember this song. Yeah? I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. Okay, let's watch the video. Pre-writing is what you do before you write your story. You make a plan for your writing. You think about what will go on each page you write. I have already brainstormed and chosen a topic for my story. So now I'm ready to plan and pre-write. I'm going to write about when I got my new dog. So, first I need to think about what important things happened that I'm going to write about. I have four pages, so I'm going to think about what will go on each page. The first thing that happened was my mom told me I could get a dog. Then we went to the store because they had some dogs that needed to be adopted. Next, we looked at all the dogs and we chose the one that we wanted. And then last, we got the dogs some food and some toys on our way home. So now I have a plan for my story. When I'm ready to write my draft, I can look at my plan to remember what to write on each page. So everyone, I want you to look over here. Read these words. Okay. We can call them time words. Time words. Time words allow readers to know the order of when things happened. So, first, then, next, and last. Remember, time words. That's it. Check out episode 3 to see how I write the introduction to my story. Writing a personal narrative. Episode 3. Writing an introduction. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You write about something that has happened to you. An introduction is the first few sentences of your story. It can also be called the opening or the lead. We write introductions to hook the reader. We want the person reading our story to be interested and excited to read more. There are a lot of different ways you can hook a reader. I'm going to show you four different ways. The first way you could hook a reader is to start your story with a sound. These are called onomatopoeias. For example, you might start your story by writing, Boom! I heard a loud crash in my house. The reader would wonder, Hmm, I wonder what that crash was all about. They would be interested to read the rest of your story. Another way you could hook the reader is by starting your story with talking. This is called dialogue. For example, you could start by writing, Go away, I told my brother. The reader would probably want to read more to find out what your brother was doing. You could also start your story by asking the reader a question. For example, you could ask, Have you ever been to a water park? This would help the reader make a personal connection to your story. People are more likely to like stories that they can relate to. And last, you can start your story by describing the setting. The setting is where and when your story happens. For example, you might write, One dark, stormy night last weekend, I was home alone. Ooh, I bet the reader would want to read more about what happened on that dark and stormy night. So now I have several options about how to start my story. The story I am writing is about getting a new dog. I think I want to start my story with a question. I'm going to write, Have you ever felt so happy you could cry? That's how I felt last summer when my mom told me I could get a dog. 
I had wanted a dog for so long, I couldn't believe I was finally going to get one. Hopefully, people will read the introduction to my story and they will be hooked. So, after watching the two videos, we come to know that it's important when you write a personal narrative to mention where and when the event you're, you're writing about takes place, what happened first, what happened next, how did it end, and why was it interesting to you. So everyone, let's go and read together what's written on this slide. Features of a personal narrative draft. It tells a true story from the writer's life. It tells the most important events. It has transition words like first, then, next, after, that, finally. It uses details, descriptive words, and sentences. So everyone, after reading uh, these together, we can say uh, we've come to know what does a personal narrative mean. It means to write a special story that tells something about you. So why do we write a personal narrative? Because we want to share our experience, our feelings. Let me say your writing should include personal feelings, details, and descriptive words. Remember everyone, Adjective will help you to describe. So you can use adjective words to describe. So everyone, also look over here. I want you to listen carefully to what I am going to say. Pay attention, please. So as you can see, um, time words, time words, okay? And time words allow readers to know the order of when things happened. Words such as first, then, next, after, and finally. And this will give you a great help to organize your ideas. So here we go, task number one. And I want you to listen carefully to my instructions. First of all, I want you to bring the notebook that you have used in the previous writing lesson do you remember when we wrote our ideas down and then we chose one of them to talk about so today we're gonna write about this idea but in details and we're gonna also include descriptive words uh, remember also to use time words because time words allow readers to know the order of when things happened and please remember that you also need to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So everyone also, or as you can see over here, we need to follow the writing steps. So in the previous writing lesson, we brainstormed some ideas and today we chose one of these ideas and we're going to write about it so we call this process draft one so as you can see over here and yeah something else don't worry about your mistakes because you uh, you are going to revise and review them later so let's read what i wrote over here it's story about me it tells something that happened with me so let's read it together and before reading the story, I want to tell you something important. You need everyone to make sure that you start with a capital letter and uh, also um, end your sentence with a full stop or let me say a period. Um, what else do you want to say? Use finger space, uh, check your spelling mistakes, check your the, the comma also, and so on. So let's read together and try to find the mistakes and also uh, see the process of writing an, uh, a personal narrative. So you know what I did last week? So as you can see here, there's a spelling mistake. So let's check. I bought a new cat. Uh oh, there's no period over here. So let's add it. First, I asked my mom to take me to the pet shop. So as you can see, first, the 
um, these words were very important. We call them the transition words. So first I asked my mom to take me to the pet shop. As you can see here, there's no finger space. So let's add the space. And also here's a spelling mistake because it's a short vowel. So we're going to remove the magic E. Next, my dad took me to the pet shop. As you can see, there's no comma here. So everyone make sure that uh, you add comma after the transition words. And after that, let's continue reading. Then I saw a nice cat. Finally, I took it home. Well done. So this is, this is very important, everyone. You need to make sure. I'm going to say them one more time. Uh, start your sentence with a capital letter. End your sentence with a period. Uh, use finger space. And also check your spelling mistakes. So finally everyone, in a video say the five transition words you use in your personal writing, remember them or let's say them together, first, next, then, finally or last. Or read out loud your personal writing draft. Please. Everyone, don't forget to upload your work in Class Dojo or in your Class Dojo portfolio. Have a nice weekend.